What is up you guys, it's your boy C.A. Corey, back with another video. It's super windy outside today. I don't even know what's going on, but it's like super, super windy. I don't know what it is. They didn't say anything about like a storm approaching or anything, but yeah, today is like almost like tornado winds, almost. Oh, I did want to say thank you guys. So this video, all of you know, most times like I'll post videos where it's already pre-recorded and it's probably like a video I filmed weeks ago. This one I'm putting out either tomorrow because I might have a video posted today. So I'm probably gonna have this one out by tomorrow. But I just want to say thank you guys so much. So when you guys see this, it should be Friday or Saturday. I don't know which day yet, but uh, we just hit how many subscribers now we're at 4.74k appreciate y'all man we going crazy right now i think it's because one of my shorts did like four point something million let's see damn it's at 5.1 million already and it's already been up for like a week or two weeks so this one's at 5.1 million i told you guys though i, I was like i'm gonna go crazy with the shorts once I figure out what's really like jumping, like what people want to see, immediately I just post it. It's just much easier. So usually I post that and little by little it's like you post one short and tomorrow you post a bunch. YouTube is very easy when it comes to shorts. You just got to stay consistent. You don't really have to post, like you don't have to have like amazing shorts every single time but if you just stay consistent post every day the same people will come back to your channel because you're gonna keep on posting so you stay consistent you'll be a okay i promise so yeah that's basically what i'm doing is why are they driving so slow but basically what i'm doing is i'm trying to post consistent reels every day while also posting videos every other day so that's exactly what I'm doing. Every other day, I'm posting a full length video and then every single day is shorts. So this way you guys will always have content no matter what it is. Which to me is freaking awesome because who doesn't want to have a lot of content, right? So baddie to the right. So basically in this video, I'll be taking you guys around Palm Beach area, showing you what's the most expensive parts, where everyone shops. So that's exactly what I'll be doing. Girls love to rent these Mustangs, man. <laughs> it's like every single weekend, you'll catch a bunch of girls that are in a drop top Mustang. Perfect car to rent though. At least you get the convertible and those aren't that expensive to rent so Yeah, so I'll take you guys to where all the shopping is done and then I'll probably show you guys around where all the million dollar houses are And for those who don't know there's some private banks around here for the really really wealthy people invite only so, yeah, it gets a bit crazier. And once again, this might be a long video. I'm not cutting out anything. So, <laughs> I mean, like here and there, I might, but like sitting at red lights and stuff, you guys know the deal already. I'm not cutting out nothing. Yeah, I hope everyone's having a great week so far. You know what car's been growing on me? The Jaguar. Those, well, I know they come in drop top too, but I'll probably put a picture of it somewhere here. But these cars are growing on me now. Like, when they first came out, I was like, eh, it's kind of like a car for like an old man. But now they're starting to make them so sporty. Like, they're actually really, really nice. So...
Yeah, I'll just take you guys around for a little bit. There's always a cop ahead somewhere. I think there's another bank right here too. First Republic Bank. A lot of rich people are in that bank too. And these trucks take up so much room. But yeah, it's super normal here. Like Bentleys and all this other stuff is super normal. Especially here. That's why it's like <laughs> cars here aren't like like they're not a big deal if you want to call it that. Like most cars here are just not a big deal to most people. But these same cars in different neighborhoods are a really big deal. It's like damn, you know, so you might find a bunch of luxury sports cars. Yeah, this is the perfect spot to chill by the beach. I always like to smoke my cigars and come out of the beach sometimes. Ooh, Porsche right there, see? This stuff is so normal, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh man, I hate that it's so windy today. I don't like that build. G-Wagon. A lot of people here buy these G-Wagons for the tax write-off, because it's 6,000 pounds. So it's pretty smart. Here's why everyone's posting the G-Wagon. Riding off the G-Wagon is not that hard when you're a business owner. The reason why is Donald Trump changed the tax laws in 2018. He created the bonus depreciation rule as well as the 179 vehicle deduction rule. What this means is if you have vehicles that weigh over 6,000 pounds that are in business purpose for more than 50%, you can put those vehicles in your business and write off the vehicle's entire purchase amount in the first year. For many business owners, this is giving them a 30, 40, sometimes a 50% deduction on the purchase price. But they are gas guzzlers though. I don't know why it's so windy today. It is super windy. So if you guys ever come here, literally just follow the same exact path that I'm taking. This is where all the shopping, this is where everything is done. This FedEx guy is like, what is his first day on the job? <laughs> he can't just park straight. Why does, like, people think they just own the road, man? It's so crazy. Another Porsche. But yeah, here has a lot of, like, art galleries. I've seen some art galleries here. I've seen um, a bunch of other stuff. Ferragamo stores right there. Porsche 911. But yeah, people here li literally are just either retired or they have really good jobs, have nothing else to really do for the day. <laughs> Let's put in sport so you guys can have a little exhaust to listen to. But yeah, for the most part, like people here are very chill. Like everyone here doesn't really have many places to go. Everybody's just chilling. But yeah. If you guys ever come here it's basically one there's gonna be a ton of people crossing the street <laughs> people just feel like crossing whenever they feel like crossing so that's basically how it's gonna be but yeah jewelry stores um, there's an art store right there it's pretty much nothing but high-end cars or uh, stores stuff like that Battle. Yeah. 
St. John, see? Nothing but high-end stores here. And it's busy here all day. Like, you would assume, like, okay, like, a lot of people are facing financial problems and stuff here. That is wrong because all day, it's packed over here and everyone's shopping. So, so now I'll take you guys in the back to see some really cool houses. A lot of them like minimum are like 700K, somewhere in that ballpark. So let's go back up here. thing a lot of these truck drivers oh, okay he's waiting for that guy to park a lot of them never know what they want to do so I'm gonna take you guys back on Ocean Boulevard real quick Holes. But yeah, like Porsches and stuff is like normal back here. So it's crazy. Look at that, Rolls Royce. <laughs> Literally, there's so many people starving in this world, and people just got like three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand dollar cars. Like it's nothing. It's crazy. That's why I say, like, being here will literally make you feel like everyone is super rich, even though they're probably not. But it'll make you feel that way. All right, let me take you guys around. Make sure nobody's walking. Okay. Buns for you guys to look at, even though it's not that big. <laughs> oh man, this one's gonna be funny. This one's gonna be one long video too. So yeah guys, I'm just take you guys in the back. So we came from right over here and then we made a right. So if you wanna go check out some crazy houses that are over here, which a lot of these people, some of them will put it on Airbnb or short-term rentals, but a lot of them are super nice. You see that? Literally just beautiful homes. Beautiful. It's literally huge. Like, do you see that? Perfect for privacy. See that? I'll be driving the back over here. Apparently some famous actor lives like somewhere back here. I don't know who, but as you can tell, they got some money because <laughs> big fancy gate and all that. Yeah, we got a million dollar homes right here. And if you ever need motivation, like there's times I'm kind of in a funk or something, which is rare, but sometimes if I'm not like feeling myself, I'll just drive around, stare at these houses. Look, nice Bentley right there. I'll drive around and it's amazing what just looking at these houses could do for you. It's literally amazing. Like, I think, uh, I don't know if this is a golf course. It might be, but it's uh, private.
hoping my GoPro does not overheat for this video. That'll be perfect. I'm thinking of upgrading my SD card. So right now my SD card's at 256 gigs, so I can film up to like an hour and 20 minutes. Um, I've been thinking about getting a terabyte because it's like, if I'm gonna be filming these videos constantly and all the time, why not just go get a terabyte so now I can have like three hours of filming time, you know? So I was thinking of doing that. I just gotta buy some more batteries. So once this battery starts going low, then I could just swap out the batteries. So look at that wrap. Those that are familiar with over here, it's very nice and quiet. And there's always cops somewhere, no matter where it is. They're, they're always like posted up somewhere in a corner somewhere. My radar's going crazy right now. It's showing there's a cop, oh, that we passed. So, we yeah, still got nice houses in between here. I'm gonna take you take you guys down further because there's some houses that are even crazier. So, I want to just take you guys down a little bit further, and then I'm gonna just go down some of the blocks just to show you guys. But yeah, there's sometimes I'll just do this to just get some motivation, you know, let you know that it's still possible because many of these people are like self-made. So a lot of them, you know, started out with practically nothing and then made something of it. So I think it's awesome. I did a photo shoot inside. Was it? Yeah, here. The pictures came out so dope. I'll probably post one of the pictures here on the screen so you guys can see. But yeah, they have some crazy houses here. And it just gets bigger as you go in the back, so. But yeah, for all the car people, you can definitely come back here and do photo shoots and things like that, but just don't make a lot of noise. Cops are on like a no tolerance for that. You know, especially since, you know, it's a quiet area. They don't want, you know, people doing donuts and doing dumb stuff back here. So if you are gonna come back here and take some pictures, pick, pick a street that's nuts, that's really not busy. And then at the same time, try to be quiet about it. So, and it's also easier if you come with your photographer. I know some guys just take pictures on their phone, but if you got a photographer, bring him with you. Like actually bring him with you in the car so this way that he could just hop out, snap some pictures and keep it moving. You never really want to sit too long on some of these blocks because you know how it is. A lot of these rich people, they check the cameras, they see you sitting there too long, and they're like, wait, what's this person doing, you know, so. Okay. Yeah, I think I went this way last time. I'm trying to remember the same route I took <laughs> last time, so. I've also done photo shoots here as well, but here you gotta be really, really quick because there's always a cop posted up right here in this corner right here. So you, get, you gotta be really, really quick, but look at the water, man. Look at the water. Oh, looks so good. 
and I think back here is like some country club, like something private. So all of these spots are reserved for those people. So yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy how you could think like your life is going well and some of these people are living lives that are like 20,000 times better <laughs> with bigger houses, bigger everything. So I'm probably going to go down one of these blocks and then come back up. So I will show you guys because eventually it goes down all the way until the end. So that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. Uh, let's try the next block, I think. Let's try the next one. Oh, well. I don't want to follow him. Let's try a different block. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's play that. And that's one thing, like gardening and all these places like it all requires a lot of work a lot a lot of work so there's always landscapers and different people here look at that house look at that oh my gosh that's what i'm saying bro some people here have too much money and i mean like crazy crazy money man crazy money Some people have crazy money here. You think you got money, but it's not really a whole lot. I really like that all these houses are really different. Like, look how different some of these houses are, man. Looks insane, like actually insane. Let's go up here. Hopefully I don't run over that lizard that was on the floor. <laughs> Hopefully not. But yeah, look at look at these houses, man. It's hard to see because a lot of them like privacy, and you know they put that up, but it's crazy. And some of these guys got so much money they got their own construction team, and they could bang it out like that. It is crazy, man. It's crazy what money could bring you. Well, not really money, but different types of money, too. Oops, sorry, buddy. But yeah, just, just different types of money. Even, look at that. I'm gonna just go down the blocks, really. <laughs> this will help make the video longer anyway, so. escalate trucks and it's like everyone's house is different it's crazy you wouldn't know people are living like this unless you come back here and see for yourself and it's just crazy man I tell you like some people here make too much money too much for real so is it blocked off hope not oh wait it might be blocked off it might be there's trucks and stuff down there mm, you know what I mean? 
turn around because there's, there's trucks and stuff back there. I think, damn, look at that one too. Even these. Just different, man. Let's try a different block. Let's see. Let's try a different block. The only thing that sucks about here is the streets are so tiny that if you hit something, like, like it's hard to see if another car is coming. That, that's that's the only thing that I really hate about it. The one thing I will say though, there's sometimes I'll come back here and I'll film TikToks. It's perfect for TikToks because some of the, um, like the streets are like very empty, not too much going on, so it kind of makes it perfect. Yeah, look at all these houses, man. And again, there's some that are mixed. I'll let this truck go. Look at this basketball hoop in the front. That's cool. It's different though. Nice flowers in the front. Yeah, this is a tight block. I took a picture on that hill. So you guys will probably see that picture posted on my IG. I'm debating. I like posting once a week on a Friday, so. That's just how I like doing it. So I'll probably I'll probably post next Friday since I posted last Friday. I'm not really crazy consistent on IG and I really don't understand reels. Like I just don't get it. <laughs> I know people grow from reels and stuff like that, but I literally when I when I tell you, I just don't get it. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Yeah, I just don't understand reels. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. And I say that because it's like... Damn. Look at this. So when it comes to reels, it's like there's no method to it. Like, there's people who are getting hundreds of thousands of views... But again, there's no method. There's no like, okay, you post this day at four o'clock, you're guaranteed uh, 30K views. Like, like there's, there's no secret sauce. So that's why to me, I never really cared about it. Cause I was like, why am I gonna try to post all the time and do all these things? So that's the whole reason why. Gonna go west. I can go keep keep going. Okay. You also can walk this little pier that's in the back. Usually I would do it for you guys, but I don't have someone else with me. If I had someone here with me, then I could like park up and just kind of show you guys. But I don't have no one here with me. And last thing I need is to walk on the pier and then find out my car is towed. Damn, that's huge. <laughs> so yeah, some of these are way bigger than some of these houses here. But yeah, man, it's just a different lifestyle. Like it's just different. Really is just a different lifestyle, man. And 
honestly, like you would never know any of these houses are even attainable unless you're like physically here. You know, people can show you videos and all this stuff, but unless you're physically here to see for yourself, like damn, look at the kind of homes that these people have, you know? You literally will not understand unless you see it for yourself, so. So we're approaching the end here. So I'll probably probably turn on the next one. Let's turn right here. Yeah, man. Some of these homes are. And now these, I think, are like really small and cute. Still good prices, but some of these homes. And honestly, it's like, who doesn't want the privacy back here? Like, back here, you're not in the downtown crowd. You know, people aren't, like, on top of you. It's not a lot of traffic. This is perfect for if you want to take pictures, though. If you want to take pics, literally, like, I say come early. Because when there's not too much traffic. But come early, and you'll be able to take pics there without anyone bothering you and telling you to leave so yeah man that's pretty much the whole island well not the whole island but i just wanted to show you guys around palm beach because a lot of people hear about you know the rich people down here but you never get to really see for yourself like so these homes are massive even the ones that are small, it's like perfect. Like imagine having a house here and you get to wake up and then see like the oceans right there. It's calm, it's relaxing. This is true retirement. <laughs> you work your ass off, you make your money and chill right here by the beach. There's nothing better than that. I filmed on this block before. You literally could just pick any one of these blocks because they don't really have too much traffic. So you could just pick one or two of these blocks, snap some pics, and then be on your way. Yeah, it's just super chill here. Like, you want a neighborhood that's quiet with not a lot going on? If you got the money to do it do it perfect neighborhood for that and as you see all these houses are ridiculous some of them the driveway is like two miles long <laughs> just like that but yeah man it's like once you see these things, it's like, how do you not get motivated? How does seeing this stuff not make you want to go after it and really stay on your grind? Like, seeing these things really makes you want to go hard, man. For real. All these people did stuff that I'm sure made them uncomfortable. They did things that people probably told them they were crazy for, that they could never accomplish, and now look. <laughs> them and their future generations are set for life. And that's everything that we want, man. It's what we all want.
not too bad, not too bad. But yeah, coming here, like you can literally take your time. Cops don't really bother nobody. As long as you're not doing something that is gonna piss off one of the cops, no one cares. Even these are nice too. They're not as big, but they're still they're still nice. What car is this? McLaren? It looks like a lotus. <laughs> the way it looked, like so short. Let me know what car that was in the comments. Look at that gate, man. That's like presidential right there. It's crazy. So yeah, man, that's gonna conclude the video. If you guys enjoyed it, you got some motivation from it, let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.